have gone through this year so far. It's been a it's been a month where I've been uh, just really taking in a lot of uh, material, a lot of reading material um, that I have. Uh, it's maybe it's been that I've wanted to read it and I haven't had a chance to, but uh, or, or maybe it's just even reading over some material that I've wanted to review. Uh, so out of those things that I've been reading and also a lot of things that I have been, I'm sorry, out of those things that I've been reading and also a lot of things that I've been uh, doing inside of my business uh, and finding the results is where I came with these three things that I'm really uh, uh, putting out here today. And the number, the first thing that I wanted to uh, say, the lesson that I've learned this week is that uh, if you want to, uh, if you want your business to grow, then you have to charge people. You have to charge people. I, I see a, so many people here in the online space that they're kind of afraid to charge people. They're afraid to say, um, okay, here's how much my price is, or here's my product, it's, it's $7. And when you deep, excuse me, when you dig deep into it, when you dig deep into it, how many, you know, how many people do you know that have gotten an outstanding result from a $7 product? How many people do you know that have gone on to uh, build a, a six-figure business from a $7 product? And the truth is that your main, your, your specific goal for putting together a product in the first place is to get people a result. And number one, if they don't pay for it, then they won't be able to associate your product with any value at all. And then guess what? They're not going to get any results. That product that you gave them out for free, it's going to go on the shelf with all the other freebies that they've downloaded and all the other shelf help things that, that they'll get to when they have a chance. So, and to be, you know, you're not doing anyone any favors. If they want free stuff, give them a selection of free stuff that you have, but when it comes to your premium content that you really put the time and effort into that will get a result, then you, you can't let people off the hook and you also can't sell yourself short. Uh, charge them. If they're ready to get a result, then they will invest in themselves. And if they aren't ready to get a result, then let them continue searching on YouTube and let them continue uh, downloading freebies. And at, at one time, at soon enough, after, after downloading the more and more freebies and after some time they will eventually realize that in order to get a result they're going to have to invest they will have to invest into themselves and it's interesting because one thing another thing that i really just i, I kind of knew this already but it was just really brought to my attention more this week well this month from this month People, when people invest, and and they say, um, you know, I'm going to invest a thousand dollars, and the truth is that they are not investing in that program, and they are not investing in whoever is selling them that program. They're merely investing in themselves. They're investing in themselves to make a change. And when they, when they agree to go with you to get the program, what they're saying is that they're investing in themselves through you. But the investment is not in the program. The investment is not in the person. 
the investment is in themselves and you know and this this is a uh, okay this is kind of getting off of it's almost getting into it's almost getting into the third thing that i've learned this uh so far this year so i'll i'll try to keep this a little brief but uh but people so that people have to be ready to invest in themselves they have to be ready to invest in themselves and if they if they're not ready to invest in themselves then they they're not going to take action they're not going to take action okay so that's basically the first thing that really popped out in my mind is that you have to charge people and that's how you're going to grow your business because if you have a business where people are not getting results with your product then they're not going to tell others and other people aren't going to want to uh, be a part of your uh, program or whatever you're selling um, if they don't see others having results with them. All right, and then uh, the second thing that leads me to the second thing is that you have to, you can lead people, but you don't need people. So I will lead you, but I don't need you. And I know that if there's a service that I do for you, if you hire me to do a service for you, uh, whatever it might be, uh, build a funnel, do some copywriting or write something on a page or if I take you through my coaching program or if I ask you to go through the One Funnel Away Challenge and if I do recommend to you and you take the advice, you get the product, you download the document and you actually do it, then your life is going to be better in some way. Period. And I know this because everything that I recommend, I've experienced it. So I know that if you take what I give you and you apply it, it's going to make what you're doing even better. I was, li I was listening to Tony Robbins the other day and well, maybe not the other day, but it was recently. And he talked about the worst thing you could do is try to drag someone to take your advice or your solution. You can't, you can't force anyone. And you ask yourself, why do, well, why do people do this? Why do you try to drag people? Because you care about them. And it's true. And you care about people and you want to see them do well. But sometimes loving someone means waiting until they're ready. Are you enjoying this video? Now's the time to smash that heart button and hit the subscribe. What are you waiting for? You'll be glad you did. Now back to the video. I was looking over some notes from uh, my journal when I was in my 20s and my 20s and, uh, and I was reading it and I was at this point where I was fed up. I was at this point where I refused to continue doing the same things that I was doing over and over and over again. I was, I was working for a telemarketing company and it's, it's kind of, it's crazy reading back on it, but I looked over some of my writing and I wish I could show you, I could, wish I could show it to you, but because we're on this audio, of course I can't show it to you, but I'll, maybe I'll show it somewhere on one of my other uh, platforms with a post somewhere. But in this, in my writing, I said to myself that I would be okay if I could make $300 a week. I was making $6.50 an hour and at the time, and I said that I would be just completely fine if I could just make $300 a week because I had some goals I wanted to accomplish. And wow, you know, to be honest, looking back, because that was me so long ago and I'm a completely different person with completely different goals, sometimes it's hard for me to remember what it felt like being in that position, having to, to scrape up money to 
to go buy groceries or scraping up. I can remember one time, oh my gosh, I think I lived off of, I think I lived off of, uh, I had meals for a week for like $5. And that, with that $5, I bought a loaf of bread, I bought some pork and beans, I bought this uh, big value pack of hot dogs, and I would cut the hot dogs up and put it inside the pork and, pork and beans to make what was called a uh, beanie weenie. And uh, <laughs> I laugh, but that's, that's how I was living back then. I was scraping together quarters, change, just to uh, eat for the week at at one point. But I know one thing, um, I, 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 you know, that's been so long ago, I've almost completely forgot what it feels like. But I know one thing, throughout all of that, I reached a point where I was fed up with feeling that way. And I was fed up with living from paycheck to paycheck and not having any, not living the life that I knew I was destined to live. Um, and I was determined to change my situation. And I did what I needed to do. So you have to, I think I, I have to realize that because I forget that some people just haven't reached that point of being fed up enough to finally take action to get out of their situation. They're comfortable. And I was talking to someone about us being creatures of habit. You know, we like routine. It's human nature to seek routine. But for me, I've also learned that in routine, there is no growth. Um, listening to Tony Robbins again, when he talks about our two human needs that are ingrained in us that are completely on the opposite ends. We have a need for routine, comfort, and certainty, and know what's going to happen, but then we also have a deep need to grow and change and become better. We have to grow as human beings, but we can't grow without moving out of, out of a state of certainty, comfort, and routine. And the ironic thing about these two opposing human needs is that one of them will always be out of balance. So we will always be out of balance on either our comfort or our growth. You're either growing and getting out of your comfort zone or you're in your comfort zone and not growing. You, what you have to ask yourself is what's more painful? The pain of continued frustration, doing the things your way, the same way and banging your head against the wall because you're still not getting results or the pain of learning a new skill growing and getting out of your comfort zone and learning that skill that will pay you for the rest of your life what's more painful the pain of doing a little work now to build a future that you and your entire family can be proud of or the pain of looking back a year from now thinking that you should have started a year ago. You know, one of another one of my mentors describes this as the easy hard principle. You know, success is hard on the front end and easy on the back end. Failing is easy on the front end and hard on the back end. It's going to be hard. You can't choose whether it's hard or not. You can just choose which hard you want. And so, so a lot the people that that say they want to move will talk and talk and talk about it, but until their their mind finally says and it comes to a point where they're at the they're fed up and they say I don't want to live this way anymore. I'm done making excuses and I know there's a better life waiting for me and I'm going to do something about it. Then they will now. For me, it was being in school and realizing one day that these situations that I found myself in, it was my choice. The reason I couldn't uh, 
the reason I was scraping up dimes and nickels and quarters to, to eat beanie weenie for an entire week, it was, it was my choice. It was a result of my past decisions. And if I wanted to be in a better position tomorrow, I needed to take action today. Because where we are today is not a result of what we're doing today. Where we are today is a result of what we've been doing the last five months, the last eight months, the last 12 months. So if I want to be in a great position in 12 months from today, then I need to take action today. And from that point forward, I took a look at what my strengths were and where my weaknesses were to know where I could be in control. And I stopped making excuses and I started taking action. And um, that's why I'm so passionate about talking today is because I know there's others in that position. But I also have to remember that I have to love others enough to leave them alone until they're ready. And that's where I say I have to lead you, but I don't need you. For this reason, I have to love them enough to leave them alone until they're ready. Shoot. And not only that, but I have to love me enough to leave them alone until they're ready. Because if I have to drag you to a solution, then I'll have to drag you around. And that's only going to frustrate me and irritate uh, the other person. And uh, is there anybody here on this live that understands what I'm saying? Give me a hashtag. Hashtag, I know what you're saying. And uh, <coughs> and uh, that was uh, the third thing was actually uh, lead you and not need you. And that's that's the talk for this week uh i thank you for joining in uh but i also wanted to just touch on one thing about uh it's uh because i it's it's uh i talk a lot and well in this funnel chat it's just an opportunity for me okay so it's about 20 minutes okay got about 10 minutes left on this live all right so um thanks for tuning in today and i appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to listen to me and uh i i see this as an opportunity for for uh spreading words spreading knowledge spreading uh just sprinkles and seeds that will grow in other people if these sprinkles and seeds will grow in your mind if they'll grow in your heart then i will plant, plant the seed out there and um a lot of times you know this group well this funnel chat is about funnel building and strategies to to get customers to convert into leads or make sales on uh online uh using uh either free or paid strategies it's really about growing an online business an online business that will give you an income and for you to either uh, be able to support a family and to live life on your own terms without uh, we're just taking advantage of the huge opportunity that we have in the world to to run your business from home and not be tied to a desk and live life on your own terms living and pursuing your passion now um but i want to say that sometimes uh, i see a lot of people start and then they're not uh they don't continue hey are you enjoying this video well now's the time to smash that heart button and hit the subscribe what are you waiting for you'll be glad you did now back to the video and i can already uh see people dropping off uh people that were once motivated and people that are uh not no longer pursuing what they want they're no longer 
pursue it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just tell you that if you, if uh, the number one, you just be clear on the why. Be clear on the why that you're doing it. When you can go back to your why and just the reasons why you're here, think about how much better things will be. And think about anticipate the best. Expect the best. Remember how you felt. So when so when someone comes into my coaching program, I have a uh, there's something that I do on our very first call. Um, very first Zoom call, I record the conversation. I record the conversation and we talk about how excited they are in joining the program and how how uh, how much they're excited, what they're going to accomplish, why they're doing it, and it never fails because in that call is the biggest amount of excitement and the the reasons come out clearly uh the reasons why they're doing it the reasons and what they want to accomplish and when they want to do it do it by and why it's so important to them and they know they're going to do it and they just need the energy and the time and to put the effort forward and they will be successful i do this so that one month down the line when other things get in the way that we can go back and review that you can go back keep that video front and center go back and see yourself in that position um i talk about mindset a lot because whenever you are in a business mindset is 80 percent mindset i don't know if you can talk about growing a business and getting better without mindset being a part of the conversation it's every it's in every coaching programs uh conversation but i also want to say before this time runs out because i'll talk is that um you know because i always i always want to let everyone know that i always believe in them and i want I want you to let your family and friends off the hook. Your family and friends, it's their job to try to protect you sometimes when they see you stretching out further than you've ever been. And they're going to tell you all of the reasons why what you're doing is not going to work. But I'll tell you something that I've learned. When your dream first comes from, it's trying to come from your head into reality. It's something that you do alone because it's something that you have created in your head. And because it's not, you know, it hasn't been realized, no one's others around you may not see it, but you see it. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'll talk about a lot of times we have regrets and we have these regrets because we let other people talk us out of what we want. But if you want it, I don't care how old you are, I don't care how young you are, I don't care if you're male, female, I don't care what color you are, uh, anything that anybody says why you can't do it, if you believe it, you hold on to it. And I don't care how many times you get it wrong, it only takes one time to get it right one time every person that's done any great thing did not do it on the first time any great person sports music uh you name it wayne gretzky michael jordan the famous tennis player they don't do it the first time they endure some hard times but they don't forget their dreams um I, oh, for me, I'll tell you, for me, um, I was, I was, I've been a, a video game junkie 
for a long time, and I can remember sitting at uh, Christmas time, right? And we'd get a new, brand new video console for Christmas, and that's what me and my brothers would do all day on Christmas. You cannot rip us away from that video game <laughs> we'd be there hey come eat dinner come eat food is ready come on you guys we peel away from the game and we would be talking about the game all the time and hurrying to get back to the game so i wasn't the best video game player and we would play these two player fighting games if you remember street fighter and uh i would get beat I would get beat, I would get beat, I would get beat, I would get beat, but you know what? Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Until I beat them. And then I became better than them. Yes. There's uh there's a lot of things that you're gonna you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. You are gonna lose. But the thing is that you just don't quit. And you might say, I'm not Wayne Gretzky. I'm not the great tennis player. But if you don't hold on to your dreams, who is going to hold on to it for you? So I just I want to say that I don't want you to be mad at your friends and family because I know that they're not trying to hurt you. They're just trying to protect you. But you have to love them anyway, and you can't decide that you're, st- you're going to keep going. And I remember when, uh, you know, someone said to me that uh, they thought they were too old. And I I hear people uh, talking about their age. Age is not a factor. There are other 60-year-olds. It's funny because as I get older, I see more people around me that are around my age. And I see gray hairs with people and they're still going um yeah age is not a factor um the fact that you've tried to go along this path before and weren't successful that's not a factor it's it's your belief and your belief in yourself is what's going to make you succeed because (coughs) you're going to give up what everybody else has to say and just do it anyway so i'm just telling anyone out there that's listening to this live audio hold on to your dream when nobody else believes in it just do that job and that's the only job you have if you want to wake up 10 years from now and have regrets nope I've had this one person say to me, I have two regrets in life and I will not have a third. So answer this. If you walk away from your dreams because your family says they don't think you should do it, will you have regrets? Um, That was the third thing that I have learned this year. And that is focus on what you're doing and don't focus on the results focus on your output focus on your output most people will focus more on the results or the feedback than they will on the actual output itself but it's but you control the output and you don't control the results So why should you focus on the thing that you can't control? Focus on the output. Focus on you getting better. Focus on what you put out there. Focus on what your abilities are. And then focus on that and let the results take care of themselves. Got that? Oh, I wanted to say thank you for if you took time out to listen today. I know there are a lot of other things out there you could be listening to, a lot of videos you could be watching, even podcasts, trainings, books, 
but you took the time out to dive into this episode today. I appreciate that so much, honestly. I want to leave you with the thought that we absolutely live at one of the greatest times in history. The current online business model gives you the opportunity to work from anywhere, anytime, doing virtually anything you want to do. We have the opportunity to design the life that we want to live, whatever that means for you. Now, if you tuned in today, that lets me know that you are in a top 1%. You are a go-getter, an entrepreneur. You are resilient. You are powerful. You are creative. And I hear you. And, and you are who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. So... If you're not, if you're not a go-getter and you're not in uh, resilient and if you're not powerful and if you're not in the top 1%, then you aren't listening. So I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you. But if you are not on the right path to taking advantage of this online opportunity, getting sales, getting followers, getting engagement, then you're doing something very wrong and you need to get this under control quickly. If you don't, you could be wasting years of your life before you see any results and you'll be missing out on the greatest, easiest free sales opportunity in history. And that's why I created my five-day Make More Money Marketing Challenge, where the mission of the challenge is to empower you, to inspire you, and to provide you the entrepreneur with all the resources you need to execute on the vision that you have to serve the people that you were called to serve. In the five-day challenge, you'll discover resources you already have, turn those resources into an offer, then go out and make that offer in the marketplace and get paid. You'll find your ideal customer, create an irresistible offer they can't refuse, build an automatic sales machine to convert your ideal customers, and get paid. I run this challenge once a month, so it's like each month, every month is January 1st. A new start, a restart, a rebirth, a do-over. Your past does not equal your future, and we don't wait for a new year to get things started. We're creating it today. So just head on over to thementalmarketer.com forward slash 4M challenge sign up and sign up for the five day challenge. Or you can even text 4M challenge to 678 506 7543. That's the number 4 M C H A L L E N G E to 678 506 7543. You'll get a text back immediately with a direct link to sign up or just check my Facebook personal profile. I run the challenge every month and my profile cover will show the exact dates and times. I go live every day inside of the group. There are interviews with other online millionaires, free audio courses and swipe files, prizes and giveaways, and a bunch of cool stuff. I want to see you crush this online marketing business. I want to see you very successful in your business. And remember, we'll see you on the next episode. If you're just starting out online, you're probably studying a lot. That's great. You're probably geeking out on all the strategies also, right? But that's also great. But the hardest part is figuring out how to communicate in a way that makes someone want to buy from you and how you should sell to them, right? Well, that's also what I struggled with for a while until I found the formula. So I created this free five-day challenge called the Make More Money Marketing Challenge to get you on track with your marketing and more importantly, the right sales scripts and processes to get it off the ground and getting people to take you up on your products, services, and your opportunities. You want to come? But there's small groups on purpose so I can answer your direct questions for five straight days. You can hold your spot by going to www.thementalmarketer.com forward slash 4M challenge sign up. Again, that's thementalmarketer.com forward slash 4M challenge sign up. Check the site for dates and times. I'll see you on the inside.